In Central Park, the New York Roadrunners Association hosts races on the weekends. And one weekend, I ran a race with one of my friends. And at the end of the race, which they sometimes did, they had a sponsor who would give away something, apples or bagels or whatever it was. And on this particular day, they were giving away free bagels. So we'd finished the race, and you sort of can imagine the scene. It was cafeteria tables lined up next to each other with boxes of bagels across the cafeteria tables, a line of volunteers on one side of the table, and a much longer line of runners hoping to get a free bagel. So I said to my friend, let's get a bagel. And he looked at me and he said, nah, man, the line's too long. And I looked at him and I said, it's a, it's a free bagel. And he said, I don't want to stand in line. And I looked at him again, I said, free bagel. And that's when I realized there's two ways you can see the world. You can see the thing that you want, or you can see the thing that's standing in the way of the thing that you want. I could only see the bagels, and he could only see the line. And people who can see the bagel, people who can see the thing that they want, the things that are getting in the way are actually diminished in size. They're just obstacles to go over or around. It's an opportunity for invention or innovation. Whereas people who can only see the obstacle and literally lose sight of why they set out on the journey in the first place, they become stunted by fear or overwhelmed by the challenge ahead of them. So advice that I learned, see the bagel.